happy resurrection day and welcome to cooking with bobby joe i'm steve bobby joe's dad and we're going to be making fried chicken we're going to be making a couple plain pieces for my dad and possibly my mom if she doesn't like all the seasonings or can't handle them and then i'm going to make a couple piece a few more pieces for my wife and for me also that's going to have a little more uh, seasoning in it and therefore flavor we're going to start off with some white lily self-rising flour we have some uh starch corn starch corn starch what other kind of starches are there laundry starch that's corn starch too isn't it or is it a spray starch it's a spray starch we're okay. not spraying starch we're okay. putting starch in we also have parmesan that we may add to all of the chicken because it's parmesan and we have buttermilk we have a couple eggs we have our chicken we have our salt and our pepper and then we have a various assortment of seasonings this is Cajun seasoning, basil, which apparently basil is also a word with some form of skin cancer, but we're not going to have that. We're going to have basil, the seasoning. Garlic powder, which my dad would not appreciate. Uh, crushed red pepper and onion powder, and that's another thing my dad would not appreciate. So. I'm going to start off by putting the flour. That's one cup. This is one cup of flour. And this goes in the glass uh, pie dish. And we're not making pie. That's a shame. And I'm going to add some cornstarch to it. I'm going to add a scoop. You're going to add two scoops. I'm going to add two scoops. There's two scoops. And... Do we need to pause this? Pause for a moment while I am... Okay, sorry about that brief interruption. I've got the two scoops of cornstarch, which was a, a tablespoon, tablespoon, two tablespoons, a cup of white lily self-rising flour. I'm going to add a little Parmesan to it. That's probably enough, although you can never have enough. A little salt. I'm not big on salt. I would have added a little more salt than that. And I'd add a little more and, pepper than what you would normally add. And okay, so I'm going to overdo the pepper. My yeah. dad's not a big pepper fan. That's, do a little more salt. Okay. You want to mix it together? Four. Train me well. We use forks for most of our mixing pleasure. Okay, is that mixed together well enough? Yeah. Okay. Okay. That is our breading. Then we're going to add a cup of buttermilk and two eggs. And I'm going to use the friendly neighborhood whisk. glasses on but I don't see any egg 
stuff in the uh, bowl. Okay. There's paper towel hanging right there. Oh, there is. You're not used to the new kitchen. Yes, I'm. First time cooking a meal in the new kitchen. That's true. Or but, your old kitchen. Yes, because I did grow up here. Okay, there's the buttermilk. Now, we didn't actually have buttermilk um, mixed. Uh, um, oh, COVID brain. What I mixed together? Milk, uh, lemon juice. Milk and lemon juice. I did about three fourths a cup of milk and a couple of tablespoons of lemon juice. You let it sit for about five minutes and it gets thick like buttermilk. I did the same thing for the biscuits. Now, typically, if I was making chicken just for me and Steve, I would add some hot sauce in here with the egg. I bet he didn't even know that. I don't mind. <laughs> but since we are making for others as well, although after we dip theirs, we can add hot sauce to it. Well, then I'll leave that there so I can whisk away with the hot sauce. Okay, so let's go back over here. I've already washed the chicken, so it's just ready to dip. Okay. You can add? move some of this out of the way if you need to. Yeah. The space here. Let me turn this back up. Okay. Those are things I don't think I want to need much anymore. I'm testing the oil. The oil's been heating. Uh, and I turned it down because it was getting way too hot and it was taking a little longer. But now it's got to go back up. It's not hot enough now. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to take the chicken. These are pretty good pieces of chicken here. And they're chicken breasts. They're boneless, skinless. I usually cook uh, it with the bone. Am I dipping them and then putting them in there? You coat them and just leave them right there till the stuff's ready. Okay. <laughs> you might need an apron. A little late now. Well, I do have white shoes, or at least some black on my white shoes. Okay, we've we've had discussions before about my non uh, craziness about having gooey, sticky stuff on my hands. Well, you're gonna have gooey, fried sticky stuff. Fried chicken is with kind fried. of a way to go, though. Now flip it back over. Make sure the other side's coated good. Usually, the fingers are the best way to go. Okay. Let me get you a plate to set that in. What? You go ahead and shake it off a little and just set it down in that other glass pie plate. And we'll set it over here by the oil waiting on it to heat back up. I'm trying my best not to say what are you doing throughout your whole cooking video this time because <laughs> all your other cooking videos I say it throughout the whole thing what are you doing what are you doing yeah, no, I don't say it in that tone of voice either <laughs> what in the world okay I'm gonna use my fingers oh, here oh gosh finally that's still not high well oh, you yeah, do it your so... way <laughs> That's 12 and a half years of marital bliss. Almost 12 and a half. Let's turn this over to make sure that side's coated. And this it's not. Ok, 
Okay. Those are the two plain pieces. All right, now you want to get hot sauce? Yeah. It's on the table. You should probably wash your hands first. But you got dough everywhere now. Well, we have dogs that will pre-wash the floor. I like it spicy. I think it'll be spicy. There were some big shakage type things going on there. You can go ahead and just lay those four pieces down in that buttermilk. It's not going to hurt to soak a minute while you fix the that's her way to compensate for me not putting as much hot sauce in it as she wanted. Yeah, so it'll it soak can soak in, in better. Exactly. So. Okay. So. Now, let's well, test that's the, soaking. Let's test the grease real quick. All you do is take a little bit of flour and see if it sizzles. And it is looking like it is ready so you can go ahead and drop those two plain pieces that way they don't get mixed up with the spicy you can bring the whole plate over there if you want And with those are very thin and they're boneless, so I'd only cook them three or four minutes aside, and it should be good. Okay. So we'll check it here in a second. And that's just plain cooking oil, but I found some butter Crisco in the cabinet that was left over, and I add a little bit of that to it, give it a little that butter sound good. flavor. There's lamb on. Well, we may be having guests. Oh, recording stopped. Okay, so we had another phone call. Um, I had to flip this because it was getting brown on one side. This is almost done, and we're going to take it out here in a second. I think we got company. Not sure. I hadn't heard the doorbell ring yet, but the dogs are going crazy. So he just put in Cajun seasoning. Basil. Garlic powder. Red pepper. And onion powder. He's mixing it all together. And... He's going to re-dip this piece of chicken that he started dipping a while ago before he put it in. So let me get this out.
ちゅうPut all four of these in at the same time. Yep, just drop them in. Just make sure they're a little apart from each other. Okay. That one just went on top of another one. Well, okay. I'm going to move it a little bit. That moves them around a little bit. So now we just wait for that to cook for about four minutes on each side. And I'm going to put the biscuits in the oven. I will put a link to how to make the biscuits in the video. We're also going to make some green beans, some mashed potatoes, and a dessert. Deviled. Oh, and deviled eggs, which I already the deviled eggs. I did a video on that earlier. I just got to peel them. I got them cooling. Three to four minutes. You have to gently flip it because it's going to splatter. I usually fill it about this full. But I forgot you're a new fry cook here. <laughs> I should have done it halfway. It's a little flatter. Yeah, that's a good okay. I'm going to go ahead and turn that heat off. You know what? I probably got a better thing to use than that, but it's a little light now, ain't it? Better thing than this? Yeah. Let me get, hang on. You're having trouble with that. Let me get. I think one will probably work better. You can use the little fork if you need to to scoop it in there. Let's see. That's a good looking fried chicken. There, Mr. Rye. Okay, we done with these. Yeah. Biscuits are rising. Okay, so now we're going to move that off the heat, but I'll get that for you. Can you move it back there? Yeah, but you got to go careful because it's going to swish. I know. Okay, so that's the season. That's the plane. And next, we're going to make green beans. I'm going to wipe all this. Okay, so I'm going to cut the bacon in fourths here. We got two pieces. Come over here. Oh, we gotta turn this on. And we use a frying pan to make our um, bacon, our green beans, just because we're doing bacon and we want the bacon to cook thoroughly. But we cut it into fourths. That way, if somebody wants a piece of bacon, there's you because eight pieces of bacon ought to be. Cleaning for, for if everybody wants a piece of bacon. Yeah. A lot of people just cook it to season and they'll just throw a piece or whatever in there for seasoning, but. Yeah, but we're not those people. I think green beans and bacon are good together, so. I think bacon's one of the food groups that can go with about anything. Bacon's a whole food group? Yeah, bacon, chocolate, and cheese. Oh. Those that 
anything you eat, you can put one of those four things on it. If it doesn't fall into that, you probably shouldn't eat it. I don't really think I need that in this, but it'll help. Okay. All right, so we're going to let that bacon cook for a few minutes. We'll come back and flip it just a minute. Okay, I'm going to drain the green beans. Our sink's kind of full of dishes that we've already used. Yeah. Okay, there's one can. There's two cans. And then I'm going to replace that green bean juice with, uh, where's my fork go? With uh, chicken broth. What do, you, what do you need a fork for? Oh, I'm just going to pour it on, but I was going to get that You're out. not, no, not right now. Do I need to shake this up? You're not doing anything with the chicken broth right now. But you can leave it over here because you're going to need it. Okay. What you're going to do is once the bacon's done, you're going to pour chicken broth in there with the bacon. Then you're going to pour the green beans in. Then you add some salt and pepper and let it cook a few minutes. So I need another fork. Add a little chicken broth to the bacon. And it's gonna... It's gonna get steamy. That's about enough right now. What do you think? Depends on how juicy you want your green beans. I'd add a little bit more because that's gonna evaporate. I can't even talk. Evaporate. We have FedEx outside now. I'm telling y'all, this has been the busiest Easter morning ever. salt because I know how you love your salt. That's fine. We need a light over here. I know. We got to get the oven head whenever we sell our house. Which... Okay. Salt and pepper. Mix it up good. Get the spoon. Which spoon? That's going to tear the green beans apart. Get one of those wooden spoons and work fine. Okay. I don't think I need that anymore. Wooden spoon. Let's go see what FedEx left us. Where that package we were supposed to get? Yes, no, that was the USPS. Who knows? Should we put a cover over this to yes. keep the moisture in? The right size, or is that the oh, wrong? It's too big. Yeah. Well, maybe it'll work. It'll That's work. the right I size. I was thinking that other one. It, All right, so we're going to simmer that. I'm going to put on about three. And I'm going to continue with filling my eggs, and he's going to go see what's going on with the dogs. All right, so this is the meal we're delivering. We're going to put the eggs in a separate container because those slide around. We're just going to put these aluminum foil 